وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today بإذن الله الكريم we're going to do the تفسير of the آية in which Allah سبحانه وتعالى says وَأَقْسَمُوا بِاللَّهِ جَهْدَ أَيْمَانِهِمْ لَإِنْ جَاءَتْهُمْ آيَةٌ لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهَا قُلْ إِنَّمَا الْآيَاتُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ أَنَّهَا إِذَا جَاءَتْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ الله سبحانه وتعالى he tells us وَأَقَسَّمُوا بِاللَّهِ جَهْدَ أَيْمَانِهِمْ لَإِنْ جَاءَتْهُمْ آيَةٌ لَيُؤْمِنَنَّ بِهَا The mushrikeen, they made a promise, an oath, in which they stated, يعني they emphasized, they argued, and they swore, what? And Allah is saying, وَأَقَسَّمُوا بِاللَّهِ جَهْدَ أَيْمَانِهِمْ يعني the halif, uh, in which they made, um, the halif which they made, the mushrikeen, was a halif ijtahadu fihi. They strived. They exerted effort. It wasn't just a mere يعني, swearing or an oath which they made. They went as far as possible in making this oath. Okay? And which they said, in ja'atum, if it comes to them. I mean, in ja'atum, here it means, in ja'atum mu'jizatun. If a miracle comes to them, that has been brought to them, which proves Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's prophecy, that they're going to believe in him. فَسَيُؤْمِنُونَ بِهَا They will believe in him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَيُصَدِّقُونَ بِهَا مِنَ اللَّهِ And they will believe that what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is coming with is from Allah. Okay? And that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is a rasulun mursalun. That he is a messenger that has been sent out. And that what he has come with is true from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what they said. If Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and by the way, they swore, they said, we promise, we swear, they went jahda imanihim. It wasn't just a mere oath they made. Allah then says to them, subhanahu wa ta'ala, قُلْ say to them, ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لِهَا أُولَاءِ الَّذِينَ يَقَتَرِحُونَ نُزُولَ الْآيَاتِ Suggest, mention to these people who are suggesting who are putting forward the idea that if a sign from Allah comes down, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they're going to believe in it. Rather, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala knows that their, their iman and their, yani their oath and their promise which they are making, Allah knows it's out of what? Ta'annutan wa kufran wa inadan. It is out of stubbornness and hard-headedness. It is out of arrogance. They were never, and they have never, been willing to accept the message that Nabi Muhammad comes with. وَلِذَلِكَ الشيخ عبد الرحمن ناصر السعودي He says in his tafsir, he says, هَذَا الْكَلَامُ الَّذِي صَدَرَ مِنْهُمْ This speech that has come from them, لَمْ يَكُنْ قَصْدُهُمْ فِيهِ الرَّشَادَ In it was never guidance. The statement which they are saying, they never ever intended to be guided through it. No, that's never what they intended. وَإِنَّمَا قَصْدُونَ But rather what their intent is دَفْعُ الْإِعْتِرَاضِ عَلَيْهِمْ They're just trying to repel Nabi Lai Muhammad's message and what he's coming with. They just wanted to repel it. So they just want to, they want to say out of stubbornness, they want to sh- يعني bring about a 
scenario which they feel that he might not be able to fulfill, he might not be able to do, that's what it is. They have never were planning and never have they been planning to accept the message that he comes with. Sayyidi then goes on to say in Shaykh Rahman, Shaykh Rahman Nasir Sayyidi, وَرَدُّ مَا جَاءَ بِهِ الرَّسُولُ قَطْعًا That's what they intended. They always wanted to turn away from what he came with. They wanted to reject it and abandon it. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ أَيَّدَ رَسُولَهُ صَلَى اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ سَنْ بِالْآيَاتِ الْبَيِّنَةِ Because what they are asking for, Nabi Muhammad has already been supported with it. Clear cut evidences and proofs have been given to him alayhi sallatu wasalam. وَالْأَدِلَّةِ الْوَاضِحَاتِ Clear evidences were provided to him alayhi sallatu wasalam. التي عند الالتفات لها لا تبقي أدنى شبهة ولا إشكال في صحة ما جاء به that which he is the, what he is coming صلى الله عليه وسلم leaves no room the clear cut evidence that the Prophet came with leaves no room of doubt and speculation and assumption he clarified any, everything صلى الله عليه وسلم so their request after what Nabi Allah Muhammad has come with فطالب بعد ذلك للآيات من باب التعمد because they're asking and their demand after all of these evidences, the Quran is a proof, this is a proof, this is a proof. After all of that, you're still asking for more? At that moment, none should ever accept their demand and no one should ever try to fulfill their needs and what they request for. The reason for that is because Ignoring those type of people and turning a blind eye and dismissing them and considering them and seeing them as background noise is probably better for them as well. Why? Because for inna Allah jarat sunnatahu because Allah's way of how He runs this universe from the, what we learn from it is and al muqtarihin lil ayati ala rasulim those who bring forward those who suggest miracles to be brought for them. إِذَا جَاءَتْهُمْ If those miracles come to them فَلَمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهَا And they don't believe in it إِنَّهُ يُعَاجِلُهُمْ بِالْعُقُوبَةِ Allah will hasten the punishment for them. So the Prophet just ignored them. Because he knows if what they are asking for is given to them and they then choose not to believe the punishment will come and it will destroy them. Okay? And Allah Ta'ala He has his sunan and the way he does things. So these kuffar brothers and sisters that which they suggested, that which they, which they asked for, is not in any way, shape or form guidance and wanting the truth and really looking for khair and good. It wasn't the case. And that's what you see as long as you live in this earth. There are people who are going to do the same thing. They're going to ask for things. They're going to put you in predicaments and situations. And can you do this? No, well, exactly. Well, you can't do this. Can you? All of that, just remember, it's ta'annut, it's kufr, it's inad, it's stubbornness, it's hard-headedness. It's never the uh, the desire to accept what is uh, brought forward, okay? Because the person who's looking for the truth, one evidence is enough for them. One proof is enough. And the stubborn, hard-headed individual, a thousand will not be enough. A thousand will not be enough. And then Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ أَنَّهَا إِذَا جَاءَتْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ By the way, there are qira'at that have come, there are methods of recitation that have come regarding this. And there's three qira'at here. Each qira'at has a meaning that inshaAllah ta'ala we can take on board. The first qira'at is, وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ إِنَّهَا إِذَا جَاءَتْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ and this is the Qira'a that was recited by Ibn Kathir and Abu Amr and Shu'bat an Asim. They recited it as Innaha Ida Ja'at. Um, Innaha Ida Ja'at means if you say it like that and you recite it according to that Qira'a, uh, it means that you are going to make it Kalam Tam, a complete sentence. Uh, in other words, what it becomes is. وَمَا يُدْرِيكُمْ What makes you know? How do you know? أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Believers. And then after that, the khabar uh, starts regarding the kuffar and the mushrikeen, which is, إِنَّهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Verily, they don't believe إِذَا جَاءَتْهُمُ الْآيَاتُ If the verses come to them. So it becomes a complete sentence. وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ Becomes a complete sentence by saying, مَا يُدْرِيكُمْ أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ how do you believers know? And then after that, 
the khabar starts regarding and the information regarding the kuffar and the mushrikeen start where Allah tabarakahu wa ta'ala he says innahum la yu'minuna idha ja'atum al-ayat that they are not going to believe if what the verses come to them separated from one another if you recite the other recitation which is the recitation of Ibn Amr and Hamza uh, and you say wa ma yush'irukum annaha idha ja'at la tu'minun then anna hiya becomes la'alla and so the meaning becomes wa ma yudrika what makes you know ayyuha al kuffar o disbelievers wal mushrikuna and pagans la'alla al ayata idha ja'at la tu'minun that maybe if those verses come to you, you won't believe. Allah is talking to here then, the mushrikun. He's saying to them, What makes you know, O mushriks and disbelievers, that these signs that you're asking for, if it comes that you guys will not believe? Because they kept saying that we will believe and they were making these oaths. The third is, which is the Qira'a, which Nafi and Kisa'i and Hafs and Asim and Shu'ba and Asim also recite fi riwayatan ukhra in another riwayah, which it becomes وَمَا يُدْرِيكُمْ أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ How do you believers know? لَعَلَّ الْآيَاتَ It is possible that the verses might come لا يؤمن الكفار the disbelievers might not believe in it والمشركون and also the disbelie uh, and the pagans may not believe in it okay and other views have been said regarding this issue there's other, there are other views in which scholars have mentioned if you go to the kitab Adam al-Namir by Al-Amin al-Shanqiyatiyu and Abu Hayyan al-Andalusi's kitab Al-Bahr al-Muhiq you'll find a lot there inshallah ta'ala regarding all of that bi al kareem I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it subhanakallah wa bihamdi ashhadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu how can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel simple like this video and click subscribe why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now. Click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.